You know, I mean, imagine this. There, here's another story I heard. Um, so just put yourself in this position. I'm going to kind of uh, <clears throat> tell this story from the stand, from uh, narrate it, and you put yourself in the position here. Okay, you're, you know, whether you have kids or not, you're in your house, you live out, in the, out on the outskirts of the woods, and you walk up to the sliding glass door and you look out in the backyard and you see, you see uh, little Sally playing in the backyard. She's, let's say, five, six years old. She's playing in the backyard with her friends, you know, and her friends are kicking a ball around. And, you know, there's two or three of them out there with her. They're kicking the ball around. And they kick the ball. They're kind of playing kickball. They're chasing the ball and all that. They kick the ball, and it goes, it goes shooting off to the side of the yard. And uh, these kids are bigger than Sally. Sally's about five or six. These kids are maybe eight, nine years old. So they're a lot faster than her. She's sitting there. She's she's playing with the flower, and she she's not really um, being uh, allowed to participate too much because she's just too little. So she's just out there with them, kind of. You know how little girls are. They get in the way, <laughs> you know. So she's picking flowers and doing her own thing out there with them. They kick the ball. They, they all chase the ball off to the side. You're standing there drinking your coffee, wa- watching your little girl playing with the flowers and, you know, thinking about how cute she is. And then you notice... <clears throat> Then all of a sudden she stops and she turns around and looks behind her off to the right. And you try to look off to the right, but you can't quite see because there's a part of the house like um, where the kitchen sink is and stuff that it kind of jets out a little bit, you know. And you look over, you can't see what she's looking at, but she's looking at something. And uh, she's just staring, right? And now the other kids, you can hear them off on the side of the house, you know, they've kicked the ball out and they're maybe heading out towards the front of the house. So you're like, what, what is uh, little Sally looking at? So you go to slide the sliding glass door open. And just then, a Sasquatch goes running across the yard, grabs little Sally up, cracks her neck, and goes running off in the woods with her dangling from his hand like a rag doll. You freeze. You sling the door open all of a sudden and you go hauling ass after, after the, uh, the Bigfoot and your little girl. You get to the edge of the backyard. You can hear trees and limbs crack and, and way off in the distance. He's, he's way the heck out there. And you just stop. And the realization hits you. You, you hear, the, you hear the, the cracking stop. You know your little girl's gone. You know that at that very moment, the Sasquatch is ripping the flesh from her bones with his teeth. That your little girl has become no, nothing more than a game animal to a Sasquatch. I mean, it's, y'all might find that kind of a tough story to tell. You know, maybe you're unsubscribing, maybe you're turning off the video right now. But think about this. That was a true story. That really happened. Now, the parent wasn't standing there watching, but that really happened. A little girl was out in the backyard with her friends playing. The friends chased the ball off and left her in the backyard by herself, and a Sasquatch ran through the backyard and ran off with her. They never heard a peep from her, so obviously the Sasquatch broke her neck as he grabbed her and ran off into the woods and ate her. Happens all the time. This is in somebody's own backyard this happened. You know, you, you have it happen. It's not just in the national parks. You know, missing 411. Oh, my dog. Sorry. Missing 411 is about people going missing in the parks. This little girl was taken right out of her own backyard. You know, and how many stories have you heard about Bigfoot, you know, tapping on the window, trying to get little girls to come to the window? Why do you think that is? You think they want to want to have a tea party? 
No, they would want the little girl to get close enough so that they can snatch her out of the bedroom and run off with her and eat her. So... Just a second, folks. What are you doing? You, you don't need in there. All right, anyway. So it's not just happening in the national parks. This is happening in people's backyards. So the government is sweeping the stuff underneath the, the carpet. I guess they're, they're, you know, sending special forces in after these Bigfoot, these Sasquatch. And, you know, they're calling rogue Sasquatch and that. I don't really think it's a, it's necessarily a rogue Sasquatch. I think that's just what they do. Maybe not all of them. I, I, I think it's more likely that... Just a second, folks, while I yell at my dog. figures I'm trying to record a show and my dog's being a pain so well let me get to the point we're at 20 minutes now I'll make this a short one the government's covering this stuff up you know and they have plausible deniability because Sasquatch aren't real they don't exist 